Well, this sucks. I can barely even make out the individual pixels. How am I even gonna know it's a video game? Welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. We're going to talk about this article from Tom's Hardware. This is the first time I've actually pulled something up from Tom's Hardware. Um, this is a great site. Um, if you're into computers and building computers and looking for parts and comparisons, Tom's Hardware is a great, a great site. I have gone here several times. Uh, and came across this interesting article in regards to NVIDIA and AMD uh, graphics cards and the fact that there's an oversupply of them now and it's supposed to last until summer so question being with that oversupply usually when there's an oversupply compared to demand prices go lower maybe now's a good time to get a graphics card I know I'm planning to get one so while we've known for some time that the crypto bust cryptocurrency uh yeah that just it crashed it was like the dot-com uh thing it left amd and nvidia with an excess amount of gpus the john pedal research group says okay so what is the cryptocurrency thing you guys might be wondering what that is um it had to do with data mining and You'd have people that had uh, computers, some of them networked together with high power graphics cards. And they were basically uh, mining like bits of data or, I know you can look it up for more specifics, but it, it was basically getting data and converting that into a type of currency that you could uh, use to buy things with. It sounds kind of weird. <laughs> and it's no wonder it just kind of went whoo. Uh, and there are people who were investing it in the stock market and made a crap ton of money. And a bunch of people that lost a crap ton of money. So now with that whole crash, now there's all these graphic cards that nobody wants. Uh, anyway, uh, Joe Pedal Research is a third-party analyst from a uh, firm that estimates the GPU trends like market share between AMD, NVIDIA, and Intel. Uh, according to its findings, AMD and NVIDIA overestimated cryptocurrency-derived demand throughout 2018 that led to such an excess supply of GPUs. That's why the prices were as high as they were that the entire graphics market suffered a 2.65% decline in shipments going into quarter four last year. But this also includes Intel, which didn't suffer as much as AMD and NVIDIA. Well, no, NVIDIA doesn't really make graphics cards, but they do include a graphics uh, in their chip. <clears throat> uh, let's see. AMD's 2018 quarter four was still better than its 2017. Yeah, AMD has actually been doing pretty good. Uh, it seems AMD has weathered the crypto bust rather well. Uh, Nvidia has not. They have suffered. Uh, and Nvidia is also predicting a poor quarter one like AMD, but with an even sharper decline in revenue. That's also like, likely due to the excess inventory, which seems to have impact in NVIDIA much harder than AMD. AMD might be somewhat protected from the volatility because it manufactures both GPUs and CPUs. Uh, yeah, I think I would agree with that. Granting it the ability to fall back to one market when the other fizzles. For consumers, however, this is all very good news. Most people shopping for a new PC parts uh, have probably noticed how low prices are for last generation GPUs, especially in the mid range. You can buy GTX 1060s and RX 580s comfortably within the low $200 range. Uh, although cards such as the GTX 1080 and 1080 Ti are in short supply and thus command high prices, yeah, they're still expensive. 
but the GTX 1070 and 1060 and the RX Vega 56, 580, and 570 are still in high supply and are consequently much cheaper than they were during the crypto mining craze. I'm actually planning on getting a 1070 Ti. Uh, hopefully I have it uh, by the time you're watching this video. Uh, but yeah, I'm planning on getting that so that way I can and my i7 fixed so I can start doing some uh, cinematics on this channel for Flight Simulator and Minecraft. And it would make rendering of my videos quicker. Uh, anyway, AMD's GPUs even come with free games, further increasing the value. Now is a great time to buy a last generation GPU and GPU prices could slowly um, increase as inventory is shuffled out this past year. So, like, the current generation right now are the 2080s and 2080 Ti's, and <clears throat> it's supposed to have uh, that ray tracing ability in there, which nothing has really taken advantage of just yet. It sounds, it sounds like it's just kind of a phase, and they, I don't think those cards have been doing very well as far as uh, being sold. We'll take a look at that. We'll take a look at uh, some things and, and, and see what we got. Uh, first thing I'd like to take a look at are the stocks. So what we're looking at here <clears throat> is AMD Advanced Micro Devices. Um, as you can see, they did have, this is a yearly chart. So they did have a rough fall. This is pretty much the cryptocurrency, how um, that's when it fell. They fell down pretty hard too, around 17 bucks. Um, they, they've been slowly making their way uh, back up. Keep in mind, the whole market was going down around this time also. So it was mimicking the market. Um, not exactly, but along the same lines. Uh, AMD, uh, due to its price, is not a bad company to do some investing in. If we take a look at the two-year chart, you can see how the price of their stock shot. This was the cryptocurrency phase right here. Uh, phase, craze, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, that's usually been kind of low. Uh, if we take a look at the five-year five -year mark, uh, you can see it went wildly out of control and fell. Man, look at this. AMD was like $2.00. Man, I should have invested back then. Look how much money you'd be making by now. Uh, anyway, let's take a look at NVIDIA. Okay, NVIDIA is, yeah, you can see how NVIDIA is, they are struggling. <laughs> they were steadily going up, and then, boom, they fell. They fell pretty hard. Now, I actually have a couple of shares in NVIDIA. Um, I bought them, actually, right around this area. Uh, and I'm gonna hold on to them. I'm gonna hopefully they'll we they will climb back up here up to this peak. I don't know if they will since there's not going to be any cryptocurrency, but it's possible. But the idea I'm gonna you know start I'm gonna buy I'm gonna add some shares to it. Uh, my hope is that it will climb back up into this area and I can make a few hundred dollars off of it. Um, and then uh, sell that. Uh, I should have a graphics card by that time, but this money can help uh, pay that back, if anything. And then I wanted to go ahead to Amazon here and just kind of show you some prices of this uh, generation's graphics cards, and then we'll take a look at last generation. I'm just going to show you NVIDIA because um, I don't really follow AM AMD very much. And you can look this up on your own if you want. But, uh, well, here's a 2080. That's only $727. That's the cheapest I've seen one of those. But if you want the TI, which I believe is supposed to be, I see, I hear TI and I think of Texas Instruments. Uh, the RX, RTX 2080, you're looking at $1,400 right there. Um, which uh, could be the price of an iPhone <laughs> or what a Galaxy S10 now. Um, here's one, only $700. Again, that doesn't have a TI. TIs are the popular ones. So yeah, the 
they're relatively um, expensive. That's an expensive graphics card. Let's look up the uh, the 1070. So here, the 1070, you got one for 670 bucks right there. Uh, here's a mini one for 380. Uh, here's a TI for 500. I I go with EVGA. EVGA has always done me right. Why is this one more than the other one? What's so special about those? This doesn't even have a TI on it. Eight, they're both eight gigabytes. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> yeah, here's another a wind force. I guess it it kind of like blows it. <laughs> it blows away is what it does. Three hundred and eighty bucks right there. So yeah, they've gone down in price. I remember when these were a lot higher. Um, but yeah, I don't know. What do you think? Uh, maybe you already have one of these graphics cards. Curious, do you have the 20s? Do you have a 2070 or a 2080? How what are, how much were those? How much were the... Oh, took up the 1080s. So 1080s, some of them are... See, look at this. The 1080 Ti and the 2080 Ti are like around the same price. So... I don't know. Is is it worth getting the 2080? What's a 20? What's a 2070? 2070. That's around 510 bucks. Black gaming. Oh, that's not even a TI. What is a TI anyway? I suppose I could look it up. I know TIs are supposed to be better. I think anything's going to be better than what I have. I have like a GTX 780. <laughs> I think. Something like that. I don't think they have a 2070 Ti. I'm interested in this one here. The RTX 2070 for 489. I wonder if this is any good. It's got It's got good reviews. Maybe I should look into that instead of getting a 1070. I don't, maybe I should look at that. I got some things to look at, man. Oh, anyway, what do you think? Do you have a 2070? Do you have a 20, 2080? Do you have a 1070? Do you have a 10, 10, 1080 Ti? What do you have? Maybe you want a new graphics card. Maybe you don't care for NVIDIA. Maybe you like AMD. Uh, maybe you don't have a computer at all and you just do everything on your smartphone. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the uh, comments uh, below. And... Though, uh, in the description, I'll have uh, the link to the article. I always do that. It's like uh, it's like doing a book report, um, not a book report, uh, like an essay or something like that, a research paper, and you quote your sources. That's what I do. There are some channels that don't do that because they want you to watch their whole video. I'm not like that here. If you watch my video, great. That's awesome. Um, if you just go to the article, all right, well, that's cool, too. But hopefully you're watching the video so that way um, you can see my reaction to everything and uh, you can jump in on the uh, uh, comment section and uh, communicate with me because that's why I do these videos. Anyway, I have a lot of other rambling videos on a variety of different uh, topics on this channel. So I hope you'll check, these, uh, check those out and uh, I will see you on the next rambling video.